Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss how Corp Vault auxiliary copy works. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. In this video, we will discuss traditional auxiliary copy, that is disk to tape, tape to tape, etc. We are not discussing about the duplicated auxiliary copy or dash copy in this video. At the schedule time, the scheduler will trigger the auxiliary copy job for corresponding storage policy. Job manager, record the new scheduled auxiliary copy request, and assigns a job ID. Auxiliary copy manager takes over and initialize job control, and job manager acknowledges. Auxiliary copy manager then gets the auxiliary copy configuration parameters with job options. The job options look like this, and they are captured from the storage policy configuration. They are worth to note, while troubleshooting. Auxiliary copy process on the source media agent is invoked by auxiliary copy manager on the comp serve. Job Manager Keep Track of the Progress Auxiliary Copy Manager Send Copy a File Request to Source Media Agent Later, Auxiliary Copy Manager Gather Destination Copy and Source Volume, and Media Agent Information And then, Auxiliary Copy Manager Sends Read Data Request to Source Media Agent Please note, all communication happens via CVD process Readers on the source media agent are invoked to read the data as per the job options. The data could be on disk library or tape library, or on cloud. If there is a DDB being used then reference pointers would be checked. A pipeline between the source media agent and the destination media agent is created. Archive manager on the comserve get the copy pipeline information, the dupe parameters for auxiliary copy. Media Agent Parameters for Auxiliary Copy This information is extensive, which cover Destination Copy ID, Destination Stream, Destination SIDB Store ID, Destination Library ID, Destination Media Agent, and so on. Auxiliary Copy Process on the Source Media Agent Transfer Data onto the Destination Media Agent via CVD. Auxiliary copy on the destination media agent initialize data mover. Media manager on the comm serve, who is responsible for resource management authorizes for tape mount request on source, and destination media agent, or volume creation, in case of disk library. CVMA process on the source, and destination media communicates with the source, or destination device, and load tape into drive, or create or mount a volume. In case of disk library, media manager on the comm serve keeps track of all tape mount, or unmount, or volume create, or remove in a disk library. Auxiliary copy process on source media agent, send data over the pipeline to the destination media agent, and the auxiliary copy on the destination media agent keep a track of the sent data over the pipeline. All communication and data transfer happen via CVD. You also need to know, that the library module is in charge of the library handler, or robotics on both the source, and destination media agents. The data movement process continue until all data is transferred. The auxiliary copy process, library module, media manager, auxiliary copy manager, job manager, archive manager, and other process are constantly updated of the progress via CVD. CV Performance Manager on the media agent keeps track of performance counters. Once all data is auxiliary copied, auxiliary copy process on source media close the media handle. It also unregister from the monitoring thread as the data writer goes down. Drive reservation is released by the media manager. Auxiliary copy manager frees the stream. Resource manager releases the stream for the job. Auxiliary copy manager then stop all auxiliary copy threads on the media agents. Auxiliary copy manager then unregisters with job control, 
and releases all reserved streams for job. Job Manager is updated with the auxiliary copy completion, with result success. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.